Hello, Niels. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect setting for the topic that we're going to be discussing, which is the leadership playground. Exactly. It, it really, really, truly feels uh, special. Yeah. It's been a year, uh -huh. uh, just about a year since we initiated uh, the so-called Renew Lego Leadership, Renew the Leadership Model work. Mm -hmm. Can you share a little bit about the genesis of how this started and mm -hmm. why we actually embarked on this journey. We definitely wanted something that could really help us on the journey we are going on, could free up some of the creativity and innovation that we wanted, and really, ideally, something that really just felt right for all uh, LEGO employees. So not a uh, not an easy task. I remember some of those earlier discussions in the executive leadership team, and we were discussing you know, should this be a piece of work? Is it, is it the executive team's job to, you know, work uh, with some consultants uh, and define a new leadership model and then unveil it? You know, but ultimately through the discussion, we felt that it was important that we empower mm -hmm. employees to, to actually tell us and tell the rest of the organization what the future le leadership model should be. In essence, we didn't want to control it, mm. but the first initial reaction is the uncertainty or the, the slight discomfort of actually stepping out there, not really knowing where it would be. But but I, I think also the uh, I was quite intrigued by this being different, mm. actually being, I think, daring and quite uh, quite courageous and, 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 and Lego-like. Mm. Uh, in the sense, but also, I think, truly reflecting the diversity. Because a leadership model for us is not, uh, is not something done in a small place. <laughs> Once uh, we agreed uh, on that approach, uh, uh, I certainly felt that anxiety. Uh, I was convinced, and I know that uh, our ELT colleagues were convinced that, yes, we should do it this way, but once you, you make that, 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 that brave or uh, courageous decision, then you start to feel a little bit anxious. Oh, how is this going to, to play out? Because um, you're really giving up control. Mm -hmm. We did empower the team and they had a huge amount uh, of freedom, but at the same time, there was uh, you know, a little bit of guidance provided. Mm. It's almost like a playground. Mm. It's like a playground actually means it's a safe space. You can, you can really play, you can explore, you can do things. But it doesn't mean, of course, that everything is, is with no guidance or anything. Mm. I think the type of guidance we in the, in the ELT decided to give to the group was on a pretty overall level. Yes, we talked about getting from the many models to one. Yeah. We would like it to be simple. We would be fine with some behaviors, but not too many. Mm. But we didn't dictate what yeah. they should be or how many there would be or how it would look. Those directions on a very high level, uh, I must say personally, I felt being interacting with the group for the first time mm. in, in Switzerland on, on, on that. I still remember that day very well. It actually felt right out of the gate. No, I think what happened after we left is that the team maybe had a scary feeling yeah, because probably. they realized, uh, oh shit, uh, uh, we, we are really uh, uh, accountable uh, for it uh, and our, our colleagues around the world will have the chance to hear from the working group uh, as well. But uh, I know that that was their uh, sense about, wow, this is, they're really empowering us and this is a big and important task uh, for them to take forward. So, so we, we set them on their way. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, they worked hard and a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Can you, can you share a little bit about how you reacted the first time you were presented the playground concept mm, mm, and mm. the notion of yeah. leadership for all, which we'll go into a bit more detail, yeah, but, yeah. but just how, how it impacted you? It actually very, very quickly caught on with me as something that was, uh, it, it felt right. Mm. I got pretty excited about it. I think halfway into it, I already started thinking on, I wonder, I wonder how my ELT colleagues, I wonder how the, the, the family and the board of directors mm. would think about this, because I, I started to like it in a way that I really wanted it to get through. Yeah, and, yeah. and that was actually interesting. So very quickly, actually, my filter or my, my doubt went down and I could live myself into it. I could even, uh, I could even through the first presentation, start to see, wow, I got inspired here. We could also do, and this mm. also means. Mm. Uh, so it worked, it worked almost instantly on me. And, uh, and it was just interesting to see, I think afterwards, I've seen that exact same thing happen with my ELT colleagues, uh, also with uh, when we brought it uh, to our chairman and, 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 uh, and the family. I remember that session and, you know, dare I say, I mean, as I see it now, I, I mean, I really started to see the, the spark yeah. in your, in your yeah. eye and, yeah. 
you know, uh, you had an emotional response to uh, it and uh, getting so eager uh, to, uh, to get into it. Could you share uh, from your perspective what, what, what it means to you and what do you think it's going to mean to the organization that we say that now leadership is for everyone and not just people leaders? Yeah. I actually think we need to give, just maybe on the outset here, a lot of credit to the working group on that, mm. because that was not a dictate. Yes. That was actually right. something that uh, I think we leaned in that direction, mm. but maybe had a little bit of difficulty seeing how could it be done. Exactly. And I think yeah. they very early on mm. in their work actually decided it's for everyone. And I think that's very, that mm. fits, that fits Lego so well. Uh, for me, it actually means that, uh, I mean, leadership can be leadership of it can be of tasks, of mm. initiatives, of projects, of, uh, of even leadership of behavior or team dynamics and, and stuff like that. And it means that we are all, we are all leaders of ourselves. Mm. And nothing works unless, uh, unless that's also being led in a good way. Mm. So it actually takes, there is a leadership element for all of us. Mm. And everybody plays a role in that. And I think the times where there was one leader... Uh, to uh, to have the brain and everybody else to do it, we are way, way beyond mm -hmm. that in, in, in the way we work and operate. So I think that's a very strong, yeah. it's a very strong thing that the starting point is that leadership is for everybody. None of us likes to be micromanaged. Mm. We are all individuals with a strong mind and, uh, and, uh, and want to be influential on what we do. Mm -hmm. I, I basically think we get a better outcome. Mm. I mean, we can be more effective and efficient as individuals and actually be more satisfied mm. with what we do even though we are busy i mean if you're busy with something you're influential on mm -hmm. and you can see the results and you can feel accountable exactly that, listen i made a difference to make this happen or i i spurred this idea or i co-created it with somebody the satisfaction of that is way higher mm. and i think that that's kind of the energy we also need to tap into no, absolutely absolutely so. and, when, and when you think of the three behaviors that uh uh, the team have come back with uh, and are uh, now embedded uh, in, the, in, the, in the playground around curiosity and focus and bravery. Can you share a little bit about your perspectives? Do any of them resonate uh, more with you versus uh, others? Or uh, just how, how are you processing those? Uh, I can actually say personally, all three resonate really well in, in different ways, actually. I have a, I mean, I also have a history of actually having invented different things. So this, mm. this curious being curious about things and uh, wanting to know what's just behind the corner here or how could it also be done or I wonder if we did. I really like that and I think that is, uh, that's the essence of creativity. Mm. It's very hard uh, as an individual or as an organization to be creative if it doesn't start with being curious. Mm. It's not like you just get one day into a room and say, now I need to be creative. You're intrinsically creative because you're curious about could it be done differently? Or could I also do it this that's way? Right, yeah. I think that's 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 really uh, that's really important. I think the the, the bravery part of it mm -hmm. uh, is uh, is uh, is also a good one because uh, I guess as an ELT we felt brave yeah. when we actually mm -hmm. uh, let the process run the way it is. I think we've been we've been highly rewarded for doing mm -hmm. that uh, with the result we've gotten so I think it's a good example of bravery actually working but it but it means of course that being brave is always associated with a with some kind of discomfort mm. because if you're not out there where it feels a little bit uncertain exactly. and maybe uncomfortable yeah, then you're not really being brave mm. then you're not really really doing it and I think uh, at the center of empowerment as we sometimes call it or allow decision making and allow influence on many more levels that takes some kind of bravery mm. because it, 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 I need to take some of my decision power and give it to you and give it to others and have a trust and believe that you're going right. to yeah. deal with that in a good way and it will allow you to grow and do better things mm. than if uh, all of that decision power would sit in one place. So I think that's uh, on, on bravery. Yeah. I think one of the areas where a lot of us have to also to, to grow. Yeah, to absolutely. And how about focus? How does that... Uh, yeah, I think that, that probably with me have resonated for a long time. I think we yeah. did a lot of focus throughout 2018 I also think we showed as an organization when we get the clarity, we're quite good at getting at it mm. and, and getting it done. I think that's a key element to making everything work. It cannot only be, be uh, being curious and being, uh, uh, and being brave. You mm. also, I think you have to focus on getting the things done. So it's a good, in my mind, uh, it's three good behaviors that kind of complements Exactly. That unleashes the creativity, but also making sure that it becomes reality. Exactly. So it's not only uh, for the sake of uh, anarchy, yes. <laughs> but it's also actually to, 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 to get all these benefits from turning all the stones, doing things in a different way, but being focused enough 
to make it actually happen so that at the end of the day there are children out there in the world that get play experiences or or exciting things that they wouldn't have done. That's right, exactly. Uh, and that's what at the end of the day, that's our purpose. The three behaviors exist within a space. Yeah. And that space is what we're calling the the leadership playground. Mm. And you know, this idea that all of us, whether we're a people leader or or a colleague, that we have a leadership task to create the conditions, to create the psychological safety mm. for those behaviors to unfold. It's a little bit also like in a real playground mm. when the children are out there. It, of course, it needs to be safe. You want to make sure that when you run in there, you, you don't get bullied uh, the first minute you get in there because then it's not fun to be there. If somebody is on the swing enjoying that, you just don't go there and pull that person <laughs> off and jump on it. So there are, even in a playground, of course, yeah. there are unwritten rules. Mm. And, and how does it work? It works not with a long list of, uh, on a sign because the, the kids aren't reading that. It, it works because that's how, it, that's how it's kind of ingrained. And by the way, there are probably some parents sitting around that if it gets too much, somebody mm. will actually intervene or help, uh, help doing that. I actually see it a little bit in the same way. And I think my key role is, is of course, to provide kind of space for the entire company. But mm -hmm. of course, first of all, for, for ELT in my situation, for ELT to be able to turn around and in, in every area kind of share that space. I also have a job to do managing upwards. Mm. I mean, being close with the family, being close with the board of directors, that they have trust, that they actually give us the, the, the playground that we have some room to maneuver that we can then share between all of us so that we can start to uh, to make this word empowerment happen in reality so exactly. so so I, I will be very focused around that and i think as we uh, get better and better into living yeah. our leadership playground i think the purpose the brand and people mm. really becomes even more important yeah. this is meant to inspire the people to find their authenticity in it versus this is what we want you to do, and this is how we're going to, to rate you, and it becoming overly mechanistic. Right. And I think that's a, it's, a, it's a super point, because in a way you can say, just by having to live by that, we will have to start to practice, all of us, mm. some of the key elements and behaviors of the leadership uh, playground. Because it's, it is a slight change to how we've done things in the past. It's, it's not about checking the boxes and having a lot of uh, stuff. We're actually allowing more freedom, as you say, for the inspirational side of it and actually living it. And, and, and we're not mechanistically going to follow it up. Did you do X? Did you do Y? Mm. Because it somehow plays against the idea that in the playground, there's actually room for every one of mm. us individually to influence it and empower it and do mm. stuff. So we'll have to live much more from the fact that, that our direction is clear that the purpose is bought into by everybody. And through that, of course, uh, help each other mm. to make sure we live the values uh, and we live the behaviors. So, so it's, it's gonna be different for us how we do that. Yeah. Uh, I think what we promise is it's gonna be less mechanistic, but it doesn't mean it's less important. Exactly. It's just, I think, the way we need to, uh, we need to be moving. Exactly, and, and I think what, what we'll find is that different teams, different individuals will find different ways of interpreting it yeah. and making it come alive and then we'll be able to cross fertilize right. those ideas which is also what happens in a Absolutely. playground where one kid catches a glimpse of another kid Gets building an something yeah. a castle yeah. and wants to, yeah. to join yeah. in and yeah. that's yeah. the exact type yeah. of creativity that we exactly. would like and innovation yeah. that we would and like and you get these emerge. relations mm. building exactly. of kids that actually enter the playground without knowing each other exactly. and, and, and like uh, five minutes later they are building a rocket together that want to send exactly. it up exactly. to the moon exactly. and, and I think that's the type of uh, things we would also uh, like to see it means some things if we, if we then do separate this is for all of us but obviously people leaders have I think also in in this connection, a special role in making mm. sure that this playground is there, mm. kind of, that it is safe to do the kind of things in there we would like to do. And obviously, if, if we do have in areas kind of uh, uh, taboos or unsolved, unresolved issues or toxic situations, then I think it's, it's going to be even more important now that, that, uh, that, that we as leaders then also, or people leaders, also help getting those out of the way. Exactly. Because that's the only way the playground becomes a fun and exciting place to be. Of course, people leaders need to create the context to smoke out, you know, those toxic yeah. situations yeah. or those sacred yeah. cows that may no longer be serving yeah. us. Yeah. But any employee, if they see something 
that is is holding us back or holding them back from doing what's right ultimately for kids <laughs> in the marketplace that they will also feel empowered and they to will speak demonstrate up, right? the leadership yeah. to, to speak out yeah. so it's yeah. a mutually reinforcing Absolutely. system that, that we're trying to create but i think that actually um uh, that actually approaches then the accountability part mm. of things because because it's uh, it's leadership for everybody it actually also means accountability for everybody exactly. so i'm not going to be told from from anybody what exactly to do. I'm not going to be micromanaged on how I do it. But obviously, as an organization, we want to do even more and better and more exciting and creative things. It's and inspire and develop the builders of tomorrow. Absolutely. So I think we're Absolutely. on a great path. So thanks, thanks, Niels, for your uh, leaning into to this initiative, uh, to empowering uh, with the rest of the ELT, the working group, and you know for your support in Uh, enabling all of our employees to uh, to be their bigger selves and find their potential. Thank, Thank you. you. It's really, really an exciting journey.